we're asked to express the angle 65 degrees, 18 minutes, 48 seconds, only in degrees, then express the angle in radians as an exact fraction of pi. So we are given the angle as 65 degrees, 18 minutes, 48 seconds. The first step is to convert 18 minutes and 48 seconds to degrees. Well, 60 minutes is equal to one degree, and therefore one minute is equal to 1 60th of a degree. And because we have 18 minutes, we can express 18 minutes as 18 60ths of a degree. So let's write this as 65 degrees plus 18 60ths of a degree. Similarly, 3,600 seconds is equal to one degree, and therefore one second is equal to one 3,600th of a degree. And because we have 48 seconds, we can write 48 seconds as 48 3,600ths of a degree, which gives us plus 48 3,600ths of a degree. Now that we have everything in degrees, let's simplify these two fractions. To simplify 18 sixtieths, we divide the numerator and denominator by six. This simplifies to three tenths. To simplify 48 three thousand six hundredths, we divide the numerator and denominator by 48 because 48 is the greatest common factor between the numerator and denominator. And this simplifies to one over 75. So now we can write the angle as 65 degrees plus three tenths of a degree plus one seventy fifth of a degree. And now let's find the sum of the two fractions. We have three tenths plus one seventy fifth. The least common denominator is one hundred fifty, and therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator of three tenths by fifteen and the numerator and denominator of one seventy fifth by two. Notice now we have a common denominator of one hundred fifty and the numerator is three times 15, which is 45, plus one times two, which is two, giving us 47 150ths. And therefore we can express the angle as 65 and 47 150ths degrees. So this is the exact angle expressed only using degrees. Let's also express this using a decimal approximation. This will be equal to 65 point. To determine the decimal, we divide 47 by 150. If we round to four decimal places, 47 divided by 150 is approximately 0.3133. So the exact measure of the angle in degrees is here as a mixed number, and here we have a decimal approximation in degrees. Now for the second part, we want to express the angle in radians as an exact fraction of pi. We begin with the angle as a mixed number in degrees, which is 65 and 47 150th degrees. And now let's convert this to an improper fraction. The denominator is going to remain 150, and the numerator is going to be 150 times 65 plus a numerator of 47. And the units here are still in degrees. 150 times 65 is equal to 9,750 plus 47, which gives us 9,797. So we can express the angle as an improper fraction as 9,797 150th degrees. And now to convert from degrees to radians, we multiply by pi over 180 degrees. An easy way to remember the 180 degrees is in the denominator is if we have degrees divided by degrees, the units of degrees will simplify out, leaving us with radians. So now multiplying, in the numerator we have 9,797 times pi. In the denominator we have 150 times 180 which is equal to 27,000. And this fraction does not simplify, and therefore this is the exact angle expressed in radians in terms of pi. But we can also express this as 
9,797 27 thousandths pi. Either form is acceptable. I hope you found this helpful.